I mentioned it last time, bro. I said, hey, don't, don't, hey, don't be surprised if I'm hyped that the Cubs win this series against the Dodgers because it's going to tell us a lot. They beat the Dodgers, and as I said before, this is something that we should kind of be excited about if you're a Cubs fan. Because this tells you where your team stands. And I know the Dodgers are going through some injuries right now, but at the same time, this is a powerhouse of a team for the Dodgers. They have so many guys on this team that put them above where people expect the Cubs to be. You look at Otani. Oh my goodness, the guy, he's been on a tear, actually. He's been on a tear. The black dude, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, if you watch baseball, you know exactly who I'm talking about. But I'm having a brain fart right now. I can't, I can't think of his name right now. But they got Will Smith outside of him. Your Mamato, he's been balling. He's been doing his thing. But, you know, when they when they played the Cubs, we seen a different story here. We seen a completely different story. And our guys on the Cubs, who we think our stars, prove to be a star. Obviously, starting is pretty clear, bro. It's pretty clear. I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up and say this right now. Imanaga, he is our guy, bro. Imanaga is, hey, man. That we are lucky to have that dude. He has been on a tear, and it's official that the Cubs, they have their star pitcher, bro. Imanaga, he is him. <laughs> it's that simple. The last game in the Dodgers series, he pitched four innings, had a long ass rain delay, but he only allowed two singles. He struck out three, struck out three people, and he only gave up zero walks. He now has 10 scoreless innings in his first two MLB starts. This dude is for real. So I'm loving what I'm seeing from Imanaga. Cody Bellinger has been balling. Suzuki has been getting a lot of hits. And right now he's second in the league in RBIs. So, you know, with the Cubs, I said, it's something to get excited about. I know it's early on in the season, but you got to appreciate these wins, especially against talented teams and powerhouse teams because they're not easy to come by. And then ultimately, this is going to set the tone for the rest of our schedule ahead because we're about to take on the Padres and this is going to be tough. You know, you can't sleep on the Padres. You got to come. You got to come hard every game because you don't really know what's going to happen. Obviously, you know, we want to continue with the consistency, but that's been something that I've seen from the Cubs so far is the consistency. So to me, that's what has me excited about if the Cubs are actually going to do something and if they're going to continue to keep this up. The only thing I think can happen at this point, and knock on wood, as I say this, if you're by any wood, I'm gonna knock on wood for you. The only thing that could possibly hurt the Cubs is injuries. That's me knocking on wood, is injuries. That's the only thing that's gonna hurt them if that happens down the line of the course of this season. Otherwise, I think personnel, we're okay. We seen, um, what, what was my guy? Defensively, we've been doing good. Nico Horner, bro, he had that sick infield catch. Oh my gosh. It was crazy the other night against the Dodgers. Oh, no, no, no. That was, uh, I want to say it was the first game in the series or the second game in the series. But, bro, he had a sick infield catch. Um, you got to you gotta look it up if you haven't seen it by now. But, bro, he they hit the ball. Um, I, don't, I don't remember who was batting, but they hit the ball, bro, and it slid between first and second. Man, he dove, overhanded, grabbed it, then slung it to first Got my mans out, but the way he snagged the ball overhanded as the ball was rolling and bouncing, it was it was sick, man. It, it was a huge play. And, you know, hey, the defense like that, making plays like that, is what has helped the Cubs, you know, win these games and protect the lead. So, you know, outside of great batting that they've been doing from Suzuki, he's been a huge factor in our batting lineup right now. But, you know, hey, I think the Cubs, they're definitely on a good track and I'm loving that, you know, they've been having some success right now. So, you know, again, only thing that's can hurt them is the injuries. And I'm gonna knock on wood one more time because there's been a lot of those going around in the league right now.